Hello humanoids. Um, okay, so today I fly out of Florida and I needed to open this box before I flew out. And so I'm filming this in the bathroom, kind of in a, in a bit of a rush um, because I wanna open this box in front of you and do my first impressions in front of the camera. Um, I got, so I ordered Hindash's new, brand new um, palette, which is his first palette ever. Uh, I came across it uh, through Nikki Tutorials and um, I was like, oh my God, this looks so pretty. And I was like, I, I wanna try it. So that's how it ended up being. I ordered it about a month and a half ago and I got it, I received it here in Florida like two days after I left for Colombia and I was like, oh damn, because I wanted to bring it with me to film this in Colombia, but I, you know, didn't have the, sh the chance. And, um, and then I got here to Florida and I kind of forgot to do this. So we're doing it right now because my mom was like, you still have that box that you need to unpack. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> anyways, so here we are. Um, wait, 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 the name, in dash, there you see it. Um, so I just took it out of the bag. It came in a bag um, because I think it's an international shipment. Actually, I don't think I know it's an international shipment. Um, he's from somewhere in the Middle East, maybe Dubai. This is his ever, first ever palette. Um, and it's really cool. I'm going to show you why, but let's see. So it's called Butopsy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah, Butopsy. And um, the instructions say it's say open up to you butopsy is a six pan 12 shade pigment gradient face and eyeshadow palette with a 24 color payoff how to use create the ultimate look by swirling your brush along the gradient pans to customize your perfect shade sweep along eyes cheeks brows highlights and contours of the face you are the artist of the masterpiece tan plus lines soft Tan brown that blends into a pure white. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this so I can show you the colors and like why it's so cool. God, it's so warm. I might have to open this door at some point. Okay, okay. I don't wanna break my nails. There we go. They're a little bit better right now. Ooh. Interesting texture um, for like the outer casing. Very pretty, pretty very, very lightweight. Um, the texture is kind of like a notebook, but like not a leather bound notebook. I, I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. It's very, very, very smooth. And open, oh my God. See? See? Six pans, 12 shade for 24 colors, I guess, cause you, you can mix them, but it's, Okay, we're gonna start because um, I don't have a lot of time. So pretty, so pretty. You know that I already did my face. I put Milani um, Skin Hydrate Skin Tint, Skin Tint, and um, the Maybelline um, concealer right here where I have my acne scars and a little bit here on this pimple, but like bleh, whatever. And then. Um, Obviously my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder, soft brown. 
And then I did blush with Gold Rush from Benefit Cosmetics. I think I'm going to blend the Tam Plus Lines to do my crease, like all of my crease, my crease, my... <laughs> that part of the eye. Damn, there's no dust stuff. Dust stuff or whatever. Spill over. So I just swiped a lot more on the brown area and there's definitely a change in color. Damn, I like this. I love this. This is genius, I swear. I don't know how I came up with this, but damn. One of these days, I'm gonna do my whole face with this. I mean, aside from my foundation, but like I'm gonna do the whole face with with this palette, and I'm I'm very excited because that's gonna be fun. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Feel and Real. I think I'm gonna go with the mixture of both of them. It's so soft, so perfect. So understated. It's like a very, very, very low key like buildable okay gonna press a little bit more of into the inner lid it really has no spillover that is incredible in incredible I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing like perfect. Perfect! Whatever you're doing, Hindash, don't stop. You know, another um, big launch that is already old by now. <laughs> old news, but um, another big launch that I really want to try a new brand is the of course makeup by mario um he's huge everyone knows him and i really admire him and i'm hoping to be able to afford that sometime soon to afford one of his products sometime soon um we'll see we'll see how that works and i want to i want to finish with Fatum, which is, I believe, this shade right here, just on the outer corner. Do you ever feel like you can't get your two eyes matching perfectly? I feel like that, like, 99% of the time. I'm satisfied enough. I think this this one's this one's darker, so a bit more. And I wanna clean this one up and do the upper brow right here with the white line. You know, it says to do highlights, so I'm going to try a little bit on my nose of the white. Okay, again, very understated, but it's nice. It's pretty. I hadn't put highlight yet. I don't know if I was even planning to. Okay. 
it super low key super low key it's like very pretty it's like it looks almost natural not uh, looks natural period just straight up i feel like i can see it but that might be the lighting there we go just as i wanted this is like what i wanted um just because i'm kind of obsessed i'm gonna go in again with bottom which is like the black shade i can't wait to try on intra with bottom like the blend this blends right here Oh my god, that's gonna be st just stunning. How did they do this? How did they blend it like this? It's so lightweight. It's impressive. Now, eyeliner. to be done with precision. Oh, I'm using the shade Smoke by Urban Decay, 24 hour. I'm gonna use red lipstick later today. I'm gonna look <laughs> fierce. Of course, I'm gonna be wearing a mask, so it doesn't matter, but. I was thinking something, but I don't remember. I love this shade. I need to get it. This is my mom's eyeliner pencil. Maybe I'm just gonna steal it every once in a while because I'm moving home in a month, allegedly, if I can find someone to take over my, self my lease. I think I bombed this. I like, well, bombed as in like good. Sorry, I don't know how to use words or expressions. Uh, anyways, I think I did great. I think I think it looks great. I think Hindash just like did incredible out of this world. Like like one of my favorite palettes right now. Um, gonna become. It's. I think what I'm most impressed with is there is no spill off. I mean, maybe some people would consider these little textures to be spill off, but no, I think that's just use. There's no spill off. <laughs> yep, nope. I blow and it doesn't go away. It's magnificent. Um, let's put a little lip gloss just because. Because I don't have red right now. It's hella understated. So elegant. So classic. So. I love this. I love, I love, I love this. Uh, I'm done, guys, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I really did. But now I have to rush because I gotta pack. I gotta pack. And it looks glorious. And I'm gonna pack. And my suitcase is gonna be able to admire me and my beauty. <laughs> Anyways, um, until the next time. Guys, it's so good. I actually forgot. I forgot to apply mascara. I'm impressed because I never forget. And here I am. I'm only... I only forgot because I grabbed the mascara because, you know, I'm packing.
That's why I remembered. Damn. I think I have to throw this mascara away just because it's it's old and it's drying up. There's not a lot of product left. Um, anyways. Are you with me? Yes? No? Yes? No? Anyway. 